What is up guys, it is Nick. We are back and in today's video we are going to be going over the stats and abilities within your profile here that you can see. Uh, breath, strength, and fitness for your, uh, or breath, strength, and health for your fitness. <laughs> Attack speed, movement speed, critical hit, fishing, gathering, luck for your abilities. We'll also be tossing in their um, resistances and we'll be tossing in um, casting speed. So those are things that aren't exactly displayed, but if you go over here, you can see your resistances and you can see your outfit set bonuses. And so that's also something that you can see. Um, this is, we'll talk, we'll talk about it in, we'll talk about it in a second. We're going to start out with the stuff. I did already cover this more in depth. So if you want to look back on my channel, I do have a fitness guide that's more going to be more of a guide than this. So for breath, this raises your stamina uh wildly important and it's fairly easy to get it done uh, and so all you got to do is find a straightaway it doesn't even have to be a big area this little area here will work all you got to do is hold l2 and hit the square button if, okay lower my thing square button and it'll do this highlighted path here and it will auto uh path you in a circle or in a line however wherever you are it'll auto path you and you can just leave your character doing this. It'll level it up. Nice and easy. No, nothing too big about it. You can also do this for uh, strength, with which this levels up your carry weight. It's only about a plus 40-ish carry weight, which, you know, isn't a ton in the large scheme of things. But for the purpose of, you know, um, overall time spent to do it, because you can do it AFK... It's pretty worth it for me personally. All you have to do is either be over encumbered, which is fairly easy to do, or you have to have a trade pack, which you can get one of those from a trade manager. If you want to see how to do that, go and watch my other video. All you have to do is do L2 and square again, and it'll walk you in a circle with, uh, with your character overweight. And it levels up a little bit slower than running. Um, at the later levels, but at the earlier levels, it's much quicker. Uh, obviously, re distance is reduced so that um, so that you're you know <laughs> you don't have to travel as far as you're running in order to level it up. So that's nice. And then finally is your health. So you can see my health level there. All you have to do is eat any sort of food, and it will uh, level up your health. Pretty simple. Uh, and it can be a pretty decent uh, amount of health that it's going to increase. Um, and it's based on what you're eating. The higher the ranked food, like the Calfian meals, I believe, give the most. Uh, and the higher the ranked food, the more experience that it will give you. So moving on, we're going to move on to the combat abilities. Attack speed, movement speed, critical hit, fishing, gathering, and luck. So for fishing and gathering... Uh, for these, there are different outfits that you can get both purchased or acquired for free for fishing and gathering. There's multiple different outfits. And so, yeah, that's the way that you increase those. Pretty simple. Pretty self-explanatory. For casting attacks, oops, casting attack speed and critical hit uh, and movement speed, these are going to be acquired through pieces of armor, gear, uh, set bonuses and magic crystals. So I'll show you here with the Agirian set. You can see it gives plus two attack speed and casting speed. If I put all, if I put three pieces of it on, so we'll put three pieces of it on, and you can see my attack speed is now level three instead of the level one it was without it. So pretty, you know, pretty easy, self-explanatory there. For the crystals, you have a choice of what you want to do. So you can go to the marketplace and go to magic crystals to find what you want. We'll do weapon just for, you know, simple sake. And so, for example, magic crystal of destruction here gives you attack speed plus one. Temptation gives plus two attack speed, but minus one to critical hit. So there can be trade-offs in this, but uh, overall, uh, that's how you have to do it is is buy is socket your items with the magic crystal if you don't know how to do that you go in and you go to um, transfusion 
put an item in there and you can see there's an empty slot there you'll put the item in or you'll put the magic crystal in and that's how you go ahead and uh, do that um, the magic crystals normally will be destroyed when you take them out so do keep that in mind when you're messing around with uh, magic crystals for luck a lot of this has to do with titles, underwear, crystals, so we already went over that. These can be acquired from the crystal vendor in Calfian. Um, and so it's a little bit different for the luck ones, but I'll go over the underwear, which is really the only way that I get luck right now because, I don't know, the luck isn't too big. It's, a, it's kind of important if you're farming for certain items like Asula's or witch's earrings for money if you're trying to do that type of stuff you do want to have really high luck if not it's not all of that important but you can see here for the underwear it gives plus one luck uh, all of them will give plus one luck and so you just have to pick up one if you want to get the easy bonus to luck it'll give you plus one luck and uh, you'll be be on your way you'll be be good to go but uh, that's pretty much it uh, for those stats. The resistances are gained exactly the same way through set bonuses and um, magic crystals. You can see right there the item effect of the Teratas helmet is knockback and floating resistance plus 15%. Uh, four resistances, stun, stiffness, and freezing is one. Knockdown and bound is one. Grapple is one. And knockback and freezing floating is one these are decently important to get up but i wouldn't focus on them over um the attack speed movement speed uh, casting speed uh that type of stuff i wouldn't focus on the resistances over that especially for pve but that is just my opinion but this was a quick video guys i hope you all enjoyed drop a big old like if you did subscribe if you have not Check back later tonight. I'll have a housing video on Xbox. We're starting the house. I'll try to do a video like of that every other weekend, maybe. It costs some money, so maybe every other weekend, I think. That'd be fair, maybe. Uh, and tomorrow, I will have my Q&A and another Noob's Guide video on the actual Warrior. Because we're almost getting that thing, that bad boy, progressed to a point where uh, we can do end game guides and stuff end game to the point of end game playstation guides for it so i will catch you all tonight with the housing video if you choose to watch it peace